know there are people that cannot untie your shoe. There are such things. And when the person now match your head, bring you down, what the Bible calls it is that they despitefully use you. That's the word, despite. Despitefully use you. You now accept it with all of your heart and say, thank you, Jesus. Hmm? You will now receive another lifting. Anytime such thing happen to me in a small, big, open, closed, secret way, I always increase in authority all the time. But it's very painful. Don't pray for it. If you help me so far, say amen. Amen. You ask God, pour your love in my heart. I want to be the most loving woman in the whole world. <laughs> you know what you will notice? Offense everywhere. Offense everywhere. You are the one talking about love. Offense came, you can't bear it. You are the one praying about love. Offense came, you can't bear it. It's, it's not... The way, that's the way God teaches love. Hmm? And what it means to deal with offense is not that you now manage it and you are talking normal, normal. That's not it. Because offense is very, is deadly. Two worst things, especially if you are a man of God, that a man of God can suffer. Huh? I know you will not believe it. But, um, it's even worse than some sin that some people know. The popular sins. Two. One is slander. The other one is offense. These two things can bring down anybody. And the way they work is that if they enter, they can stay till you die. Yes. Other ones, you repent, make they stop. But offense and slander. Up to today, the Jews didn't believe, some of them didn't believe that Jesus rose from the dead. Yes. What is that? They paid some people to go and lie against him. That's slander. That's assassination of character. Are you getting the point now? Yes, Even many years that Jesus, he has not been delivered from that. Who are you? Offense. Offense is like bitter bad. How many of you here, you have suffered toothache? Toothache. If you have not suffered it, you don't know, you don't know what we are talking about. In my adult life, toothache is what made me cry. In my adult life. Have you suffered toothache? I'm not sure it's the serious one. I prayed in tongues. I did faith. I used hot water. I use cold water. I use salt. What didn't I use? I was turning. I was. I said, "What is this?" You have not suffered toothache. May it not happen. Amen. It's too painful, and the pain is not. It's not like open pain. It will be doing like this. As if he's squeezing life. The thing is drawing life, and as he's drawing it, you do, you do, go, 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 and draw it. Hey! That's how offense works. When it comes, it's like a bitter poisoned arrow. It will enter. When it enters like this, it will be doing vibrating inside. Sometimes you will come out and pretend as if you are okay, but you are not. You are dying. If you conquer offense, then you can truly love. So when you pray, oh God, love, make us love you, what we see is offense of higher, higher order, higher order, bigger. Hey! Jesus. Including the people you are sent to help will still offend you. I mean, they will deal with you, deal with you. Still, Jesus will come and die for them. Ah, this one, God will help us all. Especially if you're a man of God, this is a hard thing. And I notice that it increases. Because some of the things you think, 
Sister, I've not seen you for some time. How much is the man? Is school in session? The higher you go, the more the more Satan can fashion die. And I need to tell you something. If you don't conquer offense, you can be anointed and do ministry from offense. I can tell you from experience. When it goes deep into you, you'll be walking like a, you are a walking dead man. Any day you wake up and you feel like praying for people like us, forget praying about me having money. Pray for God to preserve our heart. That's where ministry comes from. The target of Satan, too many are, and once one enter, he can stay there and be germinating. You are not aware of germinating. By the time he fully matures, you will find out how much you have been given to offense in a certain matter. It will shock you. After some time, Hmm? You are still coming to the same church with the person, but truly you don't want to sit near the person. This thing, we are, we are just pretending. Inside of us, the arrow of last year is still there. So the best thing we can do is just to avoid, the best thing you can do is to avoid the person and say, I have forgiven you, I have forgotten. Uh, goodness. You will just, you will just avoid the person. Avoiding the person doesn't mean the issue has been treated. If you're with me so far, say amen. amen. Are you blessed? Yes. 